That was cool. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a couple different, quite different things in there. I, I, I kind of wonder, like, I guess we, we've never played before, so th there's always, well, I guess we played a little bit just a minute ago, but um, like there's something of, of like getting to know somebody like mm -hmm. with part of this playing. So like, obviously we're improvising, we're making sounds and we're doing um, stuff that we find musically interesting, but as part of that, we're also getting to know each other during that so there's like two layers of communication happening there's like now 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 and also like oh well, well what do you think what do you think you know yeah. there's like another layer where we're like interacting with each other and listening to the responses that that we kind of do to what each other is doing and, and i don't know it's kind of interesting having like those simultaneous things happening like i, I don't know what your experience yeah 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 for sure i mean that that what you said about like suggesting like if uh, if you're having a conversation that what you said about hmm. what do you think about this like suggesting a, a topic or a or a texture or a uh, and then it's fun to observe how sometimes we go with each other and sometimes we just okay that that's your thing but I'm also gonna add this on top of what you're doing and then and the outcomes are always fun to hmm. hear. Um, yeah, and, and with the setup I have here, I mean, I have, I can do a, a couple different things here, but like sort of, I guess, from the middle to the end or like sort of the, the last louder chunk, um, I, I, I can sort of record bits that you did. So I caught a, a, like a pretty loud part, which was yeah. kind of nice because I was able to then play with that um, in a way that would cut through. And I guess with the trombone versus trombone versus like metal sounds with trombone, like it, it's like very um, bright and aggressive. Yeah. Uh, and in a way that like, Obviously, like the louder you get, the blah, like you get this very open yeah. thing. Yeah. Whereas, like here, I can get some of that anyways. So, like, it, I think it made for an interesting duet in terms of like, uh, like the wah. Yeah, I, I, so. like the, I like the I like the metal sound yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. Kind of sounds like metal when it's 
when it's yeah when it cracks when when the sound starts to crack mm -hmm. when it, when you blow too much on on the instrument uh, it it matches also with with this this mute is also nice for that it gives that that metal sound and I think it fuses well with that with the what with, with your metal yeah yeah almost like it's from the same like from the same kind of metal yeah because uh, like I mean, they're, they're like a, a kind of nasal metal it's yes. like, like yes, yes, yes. kind of sound which is is very um aggressive but like coming from kind of different ways like at some point i had you sampled so i was using some of your version of that but like the, the closed microphone sound of the this is is in a similar world which is kind of interesting yes um yeah. i guess with some of that it, it, it part of like going back to the idea of like uh getting to know each other in the conversation part there's um I'm curious of your thoughts on this because, like, for me, it, it like we we found a place that was very easy to play with. Mm. It's like like we were, before that we were kind of exploring it and kind of testing ideas out. Then it's like, oh, this this works, and now let's do this for a while. And like yeah. like that works really nicely. And, I mean, we then that sort of came to a conclusion. But if we were to sort of play that bit for a lot longer, like it, it's like um, it's like candy or whatever. It's very easy to do that and it sounds really nice, but like you can't do that forever. Yes. You know, like. That, that session came to an end and, and that's where that stopped but I'm just kind of curious to your thoughts of like when when you're playing with someone or you're doing a kind of material that is sometimes maybe either too good or too easy like do you find yourself purposefully changing the language or do you just kind of keep going with it um, eating the candy you know it, I think it depends a lot uh, sometimes uh, we come across something uh, you know like like we just did uh, when we're improvising, that sometimes I personally I personally feel like staying there forever. <laughs> and I like want to loop it, and uh, well, I'm guilty because I, I like these uh, really small uh, mantras re repeating. Mm. I, I like that kind of small, small, uh, small motifs keep like repeating. And sometimes I feel like staying there forever. It's like I, I don't want this to ever end. <laughs> <laughs> and, but other times I try to break, and it's like just insert a, an injection of something that is totally the opposite or something mm. uh, it's also a very nice effect and sometimes like a shock uh, or so or when somebody th does that i i tend to react uh, immediately because yes that's new material and i want to do that <laughs> yeah like like in, in yeah in the context of like uh, i mean with two people it's different because like if you do something very different I can take that as a change or I can just take that as like, oh, you're just doing something different. Like yeah. it doesn't, but if there's like a couple people like that could also be a sign to like, now we're going to do something. Shift. Yeah, yeah. to kind of shift. Um, yeah, it was just something I was just thinking about there because it's like, yeah, like like that worked really well and like we were jamming it and it kind of concluded, but I was just wondering like, I think for myself, I, I probably lean towards stopping it sooner. Stopping it, yeah. Yeah, just because of like, it, it's like, uh, it's almost too easy or it's almost too obvious or something. And not always. I mean, there we, we did it for a while and it, like I was happy to go with it. But I, I'm, I, I guess I'm thinking like when I play solo myself, I'm always suspicious of stuff that's just kind of like, oh, this is kind of good right yes. now. And it's like, is it good or am I just like, is it easy? And I don't know. It was just something that just kind of came to my mind that um, tending to not like what I like. Yeah, I also, I also, think, uh, I also think it's challenging to keep going with it and to keep uh, keep it interesting and to see where it goes like where are you gonna go with this it's like a, we're all we're going in that direction it's becoming obvious but how long can we take this <laughs> and how normal can this become like a very strange motive or something that is happening in in the, in, in the beginning we find it strange but then it becomes like a uh, a pattern even mm. though it's very abstract or something becomes like a small pattern and then we kind of when it when it's there for a while when it's installed in in in, in our ears uh when it leaves it's, it's also a shock or like a i i i, I like to to try to like take it to the to the to the exhaustion yeah, yeah. or not sometimes yeah, yeah. I, I mean that's a, a thing as well like like if something is i definitely do like that idea and i find myself going from one to the other so like if, if let's say i'm playing solo if i'm thinking something like that and i do an idea and it's like repeating and it's it's good um either stopping it right away or doing it forever yeah like like one of those two things because i think if, like the right amount is wrong yeah. it either has to be too short or too long to kind of make it interesting well 
to make it extra interesting. Or, or how long can I keep this interesting? Or like, uh, where is this going? Yeah. <laughs> what is the end of this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Shall we play some more? Yeah, sure.
Thank <laughs> you.